What is going on everybody? Hacker 13 here. Welcome to my movie review for The Gentleman. The Gentleman is directed by uh, the new Guy Ritchie. Uh, you know, his is, is his new film. I think the previous film he did was King Arthur Legend of the Sword with uh, Charlie Hunnam. And I thought King Arthur Legend of the Sword was actually a really good film. And, um, but The Gentleman uh, stars, you know, Charlie Hunnam and again in another Guy Ritchie film and Colin Farrell and uh, Matthew McConaughey. And, you know, the film kind of centers around Matthew McConaughey and his gang of like drug dealers. But like when it, he's like a marijuana drug dealer. So like because it's easier to sell and everything. So it, Charlie Hunnam kind of plays his bodyguard. And, you know, the whole movie is kind of Matthew McConaughey, everybody coming after Matthew McConaughey because, you know, he's high in the ranks of the drug business when it comes to marijuana. And, you know, the movie, it plays out, it, it's, it, this film, The Gentleman, it's a very different film. Like, if you're a huge fan of Snatch, if you're a huge fan of, you know, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, if you're a fan of these, like, you know, you know very fast-paced Guy Ritchie movies, The Gentleman is a little bit slower for a Guy Ritchie movie, because it's very slow, the first act, and then the second act, it picks up a little bit, and then the third act's, like, the fastest, you know, it's, like, tra traditional Guy Ritchie, you know, filming. But the movie is very, like, it's very slow for, you know, a, gen a Guy Ritchie movie. And that's not to say it's bad. It's a very good movie. I think it's funny. You know, it's funny. It has great performances. It has great action scenes. And um, I think that it's a very good mob movie. You know, it's a very UK mob movie. I know that Guy Ritchie does that in a lot of movies, but it's a very good movie. And it gives great performances. Charlie Hunnam in the movie kind of plays this, like, OCD bodyguard. Like, they have to go take care of a, a heroin junkie house. And, like, he doesn't want to touch anything in the house. So he has two bodyguards like go in there and take care of him but you know it's like when he walks in he's like you know gently touching things and you know it's very funny you know like and um and uh, Matthew McConaughey kind of plays this like mob boss and like you it's like Matthew Matthew McConaughey without this movie like with this movie is kind of funny because like there's scenes that it makes it kind of seems and sounds like he's trying to do a British accent but his Louisiana accent just kind of slips through and he just falls all over himself but um it's still very his performance is still very funny and then Colin Farrell kind of plays this like other mafioso dude that you know works in a boxing gym and you know he has all the guys that work at the boxing gym and box and train at the boxing gym are also mafioso dudes and you know he's he's very funny and you know it's a very funny film but like I said it's a very slow film for a Guy Ritchie movie and you know when you know because like everybody's coming after Matthew McConaughey in this movie and you know essentially it comes down to this you know one big guy and, you know he's just like I'm gonna take you down I'm gonna take your wife down and he's like no but it's a very like it kind of just shows how the whole movie kind of shows how Matthew McConaughey runs his business and how his gang really operates and it's a very fun time like you know, there's like twists and turns that you would get in every single Guy Ritchie movie. You know, they're like, they throw a twist, you know, at the ending and then there's just like, oh wait, no, 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 no. Just when you thought that this was going to happen, happy ending. There we go. And I love that about, you know, Guy Ritchie movies, you know, Guy Ritchie movies like Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. And I liked King Arthur. A lot of people didn't like King Arthur. I thought it was really good. But, um, uh, yeah, I know that he's done other movies. I'm forgetting. I guarantee it because I know that Guy Ritchie has made way more movies, but, um, uh, yeah, I'd say that if you're a huge Guy Ritchie fan, definitely go watch the movie. But like I said, the only thing different about this Guy Ritchie movie that's different from all those other ones is that it's very, it's, it's, it's slower. Because, you know, Guy Ritchie movies are traditionally fast-paced, you know, talking, comedy, action. And that's, you know, a Guy Ritchie movie, you know, along with some mob, mafioso people along the mix. But The Gentleman, for the first act it's very slow and then the second act it picks up and then the third act is about you know when it's like traditional guy Ritchie but it's still a very good film I'd highly recommend watching it if I had to give uh the gentleman a grade I'd probably give it a b plus but um I'd highly recommend going to see the gentleman if you guys haven't seen it uh it's a very funny good film and um yeah I'm really excited to see what happens next and what guy Ritchie comes out with next and uh, very good performances in the movie like I said so um yeah, if you guys have seen The Gentleman, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Be looking forward to my movie review for 1917 tomorrow. I know the movie's been out for a very long time, but it's got so much Oscar buzz, and I feel like I need to talk about it. And I don't really know whether to put it as a 2019 movie or a 2020 movie. I'm just going to put it as a 2020 movie because that's when January 17th was when my theater released that movie. So I'm going to mark it as a 2020 movie but like i said if you guys have seen the gentleman let me know you guys think of it if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe share the channel with your friends hit the notification button so never miss an upload i'm talking so much my mouth is dry i need to drink my dr pepper once i 
end this video, so I'm going to end this video now, and um, yeah, be looking forward to that movie review for 1917, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.